Hello and welcome to Workout Wednesday 2021. This is your week three solution video. Can you build a control chart? So let's have a look at the dashboard. So here you can see we have a control chart which is based upon our standard deviations. Now if I go to show my controls, I can see this is one standard deviation or two. And then we have our upper and lower highlights and we can then go and click through the details to see what's going on. So I'm just going to go over a few of the key concepts of how to make this dashboard work. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a uh, parameter to switch between the date submitted and date received. Fairly simple. And then we create the date calculation to say when it's submitted, then give me the date received or date sent to the company. Okay, so now we'll just need to create that line chart. So option drag or right click and drag week of date. And then we want the count distinct of complaint ID. So currently we have this. We also then want to show just the latest X years. So we have our parameter here. And one of the things that I said that in the details was if, for example, the year splits, so this 29th of December 2014 actually really belongs to um, 2014, not 2015. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create that um, custom year calculation. So if I go to my year, what this is doing is it's using the date trunk calculation. So it's rolling it up to the first day of that week. And then it's giving me the year of that specific week. So now if I use that one instead of my year, you'll see that it's now stopping that drop off. And from here, we can then also edit this to be independent to show all of those years. And with this, we can then just use the a year filter to say, OK, is the year less than uh, greater than or equal to the max year minus the number of years? If we put that onto the filters, we see true. And this is just going to show us our last uh, three years of our data. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create those upper and lower limits with our standard deviations. Now, if we go to the analytics pane and we add a reference band onto our count distinct of complaint ID, in fact, we want a distribution band and we change this to standard deviation. What you can see here is that the standard deviation is calculated and we can do it per cell. Um, but then when it comes to creating these points above and below, um, we're not going to be able to because we haven't got those calculations ready and set up. So we need to create those. So I'm going to create a lower limit calculation, which is the windows average of our count distinct of complaint ID. And then because this is the lower limit, we're going to say we're going to go minus and we already have our standard deviation parameter set up. And then this is going to be times the window standard deviation for the count distinct of complaint ID. So this is what your calculation should look like. You may also want to add in some extra brackets so that you can, um, the tableau's order of operations can work correctly. If I click OK, all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this calculation. I'm going to change this to upper limits. And this time we're going to add that on to our calculation instead of minus. Click OK. Just going to drag those distributions off. So now we have those calculations, we can add them onto our detail. So I'm going to add them onto detail. And this time I'm just going to choose pane across. OK, so we're going to add our reference line in to show you what it's doing. So in here we can have our lower limit and our upper limit. And we can, we can remove those labels if we want, and we can format it however we like. 
But now we have our upper and lower limits per individual years. So we can change the amount of years that we have in our view. And now what we need to do is we need to create the um, when it when it's above or below the specific limit. So the calculation I did for that. So now we need to compute tail tableau when it's above or below the limit and have some circles on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my axes, right click, dual axes and also synchronize. The second one is going to be some circles and we can play with the size so that it's the right sizing. But now we need to tell tableau when it's out of bounds or in bounds. So I have my calculation basically saying if it the count distinctive complaint ID is less than the upper limit, uh, greater than the upper limit, or is less than the lower limit, then out, else in. And if I add that to colour, you'll see now that my orange is out, um, but I just need to, to compute this using pane across as well. Um, now my orange is out and my blue is in. So they're the main functionalities of this uh, dashboard. The final section is um, on the dashboard itself, we have the show controls option. And the way to do that is if I just create a new dashboard and bring in sheet three, you'll see I have all of these controls here. I'm gonna double click them to get my container. I'm gonna press shift and drag it. So now I have a floating container and from here, as long as this blue box is outlined, because that's the container itself, I'm going to click this little drop down and say add show hide button. And from here, we can edit this button. So we can say uh, we want it as a text button and we can say show or hide. They're probably the wrong, wrong way around, but you get my drift. So now we have show and hide wrong way around but the next step is to click on a specific point and go to the complaint details dashboard so what I'm going to do go to dashboard actions I'm going to add a um, filter action I'm going to leave it on the menu and we're going to change it to go to complaint details and in here we're going to select uh, in fact we're going to leave it as all fields and click OK now, whatever you name this field is going to be what appears in your tooltip. So click for more details, click OK. And now when I click on a mark, you'll see this pops up and it'll take me to my details page. And this section is just a list of all of the different datas, um, all of the different complaints in that specific week of data. The back button is just a navigation button which when you edit it, it tells you where you'd like to go back to. So this particular one goes back to my original dashboard and the title is what appears on the button itself. So that is everything, a quick roundup of all of the things that we've done within this specific workout. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at underscore Lana underscore Brown. Thank you and good luck with your workouts.